Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a bit of a rebuilding task. So, as you can see, we have a team full of centers that are 40 overall. And my goal is in, within 5 years, is to win an NBA championship. So, yeah. <laughs> bit of a task, but, you know, I decided, why not? Now, as you can see, I went into the free agency, and as you can see, AD is there. I decided not to take AD because... Just feel like that would make it a bit too easy. Well, it's this. Well, even with it, it wasn't going to be too easy. But I decided to take Tyreek Evans as well as Drew Holiday because they're not really game changers as much as AD would be. So, and we also picked up Eric Gordon. Now, in the first season, we pretty much tanked it. Um, because what can you do with 15, 40 overall centers? So, yeah, we <laughs> went 82. <laughs> we went all in 82. Um, and we didn't end up getting the first round pick. It was depre it was, you know, upsetting, but you know, the Pacers of all teams actually won the NBA championship. And PG had the MVP. I can't, why am I struggling to talk? But anyway, we managed to pick up Brandon Ingram because somehow he was fourth overall. Um you know. And Ben Simmons wasn't even the first overall. So we managed in the free agency to get LeBron AD and Dwight and none of them joined <laughs> so that was a pretty much a mess of an offseason we did manage to get Jordan Clarkson as well as we offered a contract to Festus Ezeli we managed to get him we also offered a contract to CJ McCollum as well as Bismack Biombo. CJ actually accepted Bismack went somewhere else and we also gave a couple of our players the untapped potential so this is our team going into the first into the second season it's not it's definitely not the best but, you know, in, now in the second season, Brandon Ingram actually had Rookie of the Year. So I was quite happy with that. It's good to know our rookies are actually doing well. As you can see, probably probably big ask that Ben Simmons was injured. But, you know, so we managed to <laughs> we managed to get the Bulls record backwards. So that was an achievement. Um, and the Pacers won the championship again. And PG had the finals MVP again. So this time we actually did get the first overall. Uh, pick and of course we pick up Harry Gills because well he's pretty much the only well he is clearly the best one there so we offered Chris Paul a contract he went to the Nets of all teams you know and we also picked up Shabazz Muhammad and some other guy I couldn't see and we also picked up Lynn Sanity as well as Luke Babbitt because at the moment we're just trying to get as much assets as possible so third season Jason Tatum I I always butcher his name he won Rookie of the Year. AD won Defensive Player of the Year because, of course, he would. Um, and yeah, just uh, some uh, Harry Gills came second in the All All Rookie NBA f First Team. I think that. Yep, I just yep. So we managed to finish twelfth in the conference. So not our best. So we're currently finished the third season. We look like we're making no progress. And Ben Simmons, of course, will get Finals MVP. So. Yeah, and this is where I thought this series would take a bit of a hit. Uh, a couple of our players actually wanted a test free agency. But then, and then uh, after I saw the free agency, there wasn't any big players. There was Zach Levine and Alfred Payton, which, of, you know, of course I picked them up because why wouldn't I? We have like 50 million cap space, so why, why wouldn't I? We also picked up Avery Bradley, who is a very, very good shooting guard, especially for rebuilding, uh, because he doesn't ask for a lot of money and he is a very efficient shooting guard. Now we're also looking for the this is our current lineup. It's not the best, but it's certainly not. I don't think the worst in the league. We also uh, I uh, I can't speak. We offer Festus Azili another contract. Now this is our squad going in to the fourth season. Now I've done this trade: Jeremy Lin and Festus Azili for a first and a first round pick for Joel Embiid and Ben McLemore. I was taking a bit of a gamble with this because if I didn't do well in this season, I would have lost a very good pick. Um. So yeah, after this season, I was praying that I would at least get into the playoffs. So just so we wouldn't waste that pick on, like, getting a top 10 pick or something like that. Now, we've done this trade as well. Ben McLemore and Daniel, whatever his name, I can't never say his name. For Rudy Gay, who would be a backup to ba Brandon Ingram off the bench. Now, we've done this trade. Alfred Payton and Zhao Kui. Sounds like a Dynasty Warriors character. For Chris Middleton. And I really, re I tried to do it without Zhao Kui, but I just thought, ah, screw it. Just offer him up anyway. And then going into the uh, All Star break, we were thirty-two and twenty-one. We were fourth in the conference. I was just like, 
What? Then we did a couple more trades to actually win us the to actually give us the boost. We traded Rudy Gay for for uh, what? I can't say his name. Why can't I say his name? Rudy Gobert. I couldn't think of his name for some reason. And then we traded Noah Vonley for Jacob Porrell. I can I always butcher his name. If you watch any of my videos, you know I butcher his name. So yeah, we just in case Rudy Gobert didn't actually work out, at least we have a backup center who had a bit of a potential with him. We managed to go 52 and 30, which, you know, bit of a jump. Um, AD managed to get Defense Player of the Year again for the Lakers. And Byron Scott, of all, of all people, had Coach of the Year because 2K, 2K realism. And, yeah, so Rudy Gobert made the All-Defense second team, which I was very, very happy about. Now, going into the playoffs, I was expecting us to get a knocked out in the second round, if not the first round. We made it through the first round somehow, but we 4 2 the Houston Rockets. Now, this is where I thought we would go out to the OKC Thunder, and we actually beat them. Now, this is definitely where I thought we would go out because they were the best team in the conference, and they, you know, we just beat them 3 4. Oh, 4 3. I don't know why I said it like that. And then 2 1, and then 3 1, and then. I was just like, what is this actually happening? We are actually going to do this? We are actually going to win the championship in the fourth year of being a team full of 40 overalls. And if you just look at the Simcast, that is actually what happened. We ended up blowing out the Pacers. Like, what? We ended up blowing up the Pacers. <laughs> because I, I don't really know what happened. Um, And just to prove to you guys... Which we should just go to my league settings. Do 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 do. Hall of Fame. I don't really know if that actually makes any difference because I've played on rookie and Hall of Fame with that, and it seems to be the same. But this is just so you can guys can see how we did in the games. Um, yeah, a couple close games, a couple of blowouts, which I found a little bit interesting. Look at that for a blowout. Um, and yeah. I don't know how we won the championship in the fourth year, coming from 40 overalls, but this is probably one of my best rebuilds that I've done. Probably because I haven't done that many rebuilds, but anyway. So yeah, that is, uh, that's it for this rebuild. I'm hoping to be doing more of these rebuilds, because I do actually enjoy making them. Uh, and somehow I compressed this hour of footage into like eight minutes, so, you know, quite happy with that. So... We're just going to simulate Brandon Ingram, actually get managed to get finals MVP. And this is the squad that we ended up with. Um, I actually really like the squad. It's got the great potential, even though most of the players haven't got a contract anymore. Great potential. And there's a couple of players that are in, going into their prime, like Rudy Gobert was. But he might be testing the free agency, but who knows. So yeah, guys. That's it for this rebuild. Let me know if you want any more rebuilds. We managed to bring the Pelicans their first championship. And so, yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys all later. Take care and peace.